Okay, I want to update on this video about the new Wulin hero guy uh, and so on. They are recognized on his blade. The blade is a Damascus blade. I see, oh, no, sorry, sorry, it's not Damascus. It's a water, water pattern blade. Uh, I'm sorry if I say Damascus, so don't. Okay. This guy is. He looks, yeah, I understand. He looks, he looks very interesting how he look, and he, I, I know, I know the reason why he looks like this way because if he have the armor and something helmet on or other clothing on, he gonna be much more recognizable, right away. So the the thing I can say right away we can throw out. He's not gonna be. It's uh, I. It's a, a Greek gladi or a Roman gladiator. Because of the weapon, the shape of the we the shape of the hilt, and the handle and the blade is not a, a Roman or Greek or any kind of European type of sword. I know that the the, the closest sword that European have in the mid late Middle Ages is uh, the falchion. Sim so it looks some type similar to the Arabi uh, uh, Arabian sword, but we know that. Um, okay. More, uh, really history question, uh, really history talk now. In the early pa ages of the Islamic period, the w the swords were straight, like similar to European sword. Like when you can see the African kaskara, the sword was straight. It was after the, like the Mongolian and the the, uh, the nomadic tribe step warriors, like the Mongolian. Then the later on we get the curve like the m curved sword type of swords like the Shamshir, Kilik and so on and this blade is is a, is a the half of the blade is straight but we know that the, the Shamshir and I can say right away that this is not a Shamshir because of the Shamshir it have is a totally different handle to the Shamshir of course you can have a Shamshir blade to the Tulvara hilt but it's not a Tulvara because the Tulvara have like a like a I don't know, umbrella umbrella hilt umbrella hilt on the the blade so it's, uh, on the, sorry on the the hand on the the knot on the uh, handle on the uh, sword uh, and so it's not a shamshir or it's not a, 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 a Arabian sword uh, but we know that the uh, the Tibetan warrior actually was some connection with the Arabian people. Uh, because they, they helped them against the, the Tang in the war. Uh, so yeah, the sword is very interesting. I can 100% sure say that it's not, absolutely not Japanese. I can I promise that. It's gonna, it's, I 100% promise it's not Japanese. Because the Japanese never use this kind of blade or handles. It's absolutely not Japanese, and Japanese in all of history, Japanese never use a, a ring pommel sword with ring pommel uh, on the, the hilt. It's a ring to fasten the belt, like his uh, war belt. Uh, and if he was like, the only things that if he have not the sword on the picture and he his hair color were different, then the only only guy I can think about, if it's not, if we, he was not, we know, okay, I can, okay. I say right away, if this guy have no sword in his hand, no black hair, and we know that the, the Viking faction need one more, then I probably could, could say that he be a Celtic warrior. But we know already now that the the Vikings, the knight, and the samurai have all have all similar. They have, all they have the same amounts of heroes. This three faction, the only factions that are left, only have so have two spot open is the Wulin. So he's gonna join the Wulin, but I don't think he's a Chinese warrior. If that makes any sense. Uh, but he that but every culture used mercenaries here and there from different country. We know the Romans used the Sarmatians, the Huns, and so on, and of course the the Greeks uh, used like the, the Thracians, like the Macedonians used the Thracian warriors, and of course they used the Celts, uh, similar like uh, and so on. 
the concentration warriors were the really good cavalry warriors and really good pelt warriors. And the, the Scythians, because the Scythian is the master of the bow, the horse and the bow in the ancient world. And this kind of thing. So, this would be awesome if he, this guy was a Scythian warrior, but he's not a Scythian, because he not look like a Scythian warrior. And this kind of thing. So, the Chinese warrior, uh, sorry, the Wulin warrior for the Wulin faction, uh, as a mercenary, um, and a heavy, the only thing I can say for, for certain is he's going to be a mercenary and a heavy, heavy guy, and he's going to join the Wulin. So we need two more heroes for the Wulin to be a complete faction. I already talked about that uh, many, many times, uh, uh, like uh, years, uh, years ago. Uh, like they really need to, com to finish the game. They need two more Wulin hero, and I, what I mean with the finish, I mean that they fi need to finish for honor one, and they need to, some time to start with for honor two. First, we know the P five is out, um, and they need to put new uh, new stories and new faction and new new game modes and much updated graphics. So of course they need to come to a conclusion in this game. And they need to be a good conclusion. I think that is the best thing to end for honor to get for honor two. I really think that is the best thing, and that is the reason why I think uh, they need to be really. So the problem here is with the idea with the faction is if they, this guy sorry. If this guy is a Persian warrior, I don't really hundred percent think that because he's not really. There's so many better things you can do. With the Persian where you can other clothing, other armor, much cooler weapons, uh, and a new a, a new faction for Frontier Two as a Persian faction. So I, I don't think that if if, if this is a Persian warrior, I think that is waste of good opportunity for a faction for the next game. So I really hope I am wrong. I really hope that is not a Persian warrior. I think this is sa save the idea for a Persian warrior. Uh, t for like two, uh, uh, some years later on for Frontier Two. So I, and we know also people. So the things are left. I think is nice to see for a uh, for honor uh, for Wulin uh, is uh, probably a Mongolian uh, hero or a Tibetan warrior. So the the only thing. For Mongolian is a good idea because I know many people also want a Mongolian faction, but I probably will say there is is not it's it's a big big chance like maybe seventy percent chance that he's a Persian uh, guy uh, similar to the Prince of Persia because of Ubisoft make the the classic game Prince of Persia game like the free the the sense of time uh, it, it, uh, so on the free Prince of Persia game and. Um, and if they release a Prince of Persian uh, game, a new game for PS5, this is a big possibility that this guy is going to be like a com what do you call it? commercial attribute for this game. So people go, oh, look, a new Persian guy. Oh, I want to. Oh, he look. Uh, and they're going to talk about Prince of Persia and this kind of thing. So this is a good move if they're going to do a new Prince of Persia move, Prince of Persian game, sorry, for PS5. Uh, as an open world game, and they have a Persian warrior in this game, so the same company as Ubisoft for the next Prince of Persia game. I think this is a good idea. Uh, I've, the only thing I think this, this, this I'd be happy if it's a Persian warrior, I'd be really happy, but I think at the same time, I'm going to be a bit disappointed because of I think that it's a waste of good opportunity for a new faction for For Honor 2. So I, it's a both sides, it's like ha super happy. And ah, at the same time, I ah, want to see for Frontier Two. Uh, yeah. So, and I don't think he's is a Arabian warrior. Uh, he can be absolutely, but it's more more to uh, the Persian, the Tibetan, or uh, or the Mongolian warrior, for the Wulin faction as a mercenary. So, the 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 closest thing with the blade is is he the the blade is much more hinted to uh, 
historical slash fantasy Mongolian sword because the Mongolian sword has some similarity with the Chinese uh, Dao because they're very, very similar sword but this the Mongolian sword was much more based sort on cavalry like uh, on horseback so it's much more like it's, it's hard Chinese have so many different swords it's so many different they have similar swords and different with the handle the blade and yeah, so it's really, really hard to say exactly. The only thing we know when we look at the blade is that the blade is water pattern blade. And we know that it's famous for India and Persia, the Indian pattern sword, uh, but like the, the, the elite sword, like the, the it's high ranking sword, like the very good steel and it's very, very sharp and very, very, very good sword. So it's the water steel is not a common sword to find. Like you can buy maybe, 200 or 2000 sword uh, and you maybe probably never gonna get the water pattern steel or Damascus steel. Damascus steel is a, like a Royce Royce, it's extremely um, I don't I just, it's not powerful but extreme rare it's a rare sword, it's a it's like the royalty sword for the king, kings and emperors and the, the elite guards and this kind of thing so this, if this guy have a water pattern steel uh, uh, blade to his sword, uh, he's gonna be absolute high ranking guy, and he's a heavy guy. Uh, for they need one more heavy, then they have two heavy, and that or he's a uh, two vanguard, and this last one of them is heavy, the Mongolian heavy with the mace. Uh, so yeah, it's a really, really complicated thing to say, but he's absolutely for the wool in uh, because of the design on the on the blade, like the gold karin on the blade and this kind of thing. Um, yeah, he's this, and probably the sword gonna be curved. So yeah, probably is a, a Persian. It's like a Persian or Arabian guy, but. I more think Persian because of Prince of Persia and because of Ubisoft and because I probably think I see some sketches a long time ago and talk about Prince of Persia. So I probably think this guy is a Persian guy and because of Prince of Persia will sometime come, come out as to PS5 because it's a perfect moment. And I think they, so I think some of them have worked for Persia. Prince of Persia a long time ago. I'm not sure so many need to correct me if I'm wrong or right in that in the comments. So to conclude everything and to stay, say everything, I think 70% 70, 70 I think this guy is a Persian warrior. Uh, do I want that? Yes or no at the same time? Because, what I said before, I want the Persian as to have their own faction for the next game. I think they should save some of the pa uh, factions to the next game. But, yeah. So this guy is probably a Persian mercenary from the Sassanid uh, Emperor, Empire to uh, join the Wulin. Um, uh, or if he's not a Persian, he's an Arabian guy. So want to have revenge on the knights. And the perfect thing to uh, to help him against the knight is the Chinese, and so yeah. So if he's not a Persian, he's Arabian guy. If he's not that, these two are things. Then somebody somebody can leave me in the comments what they think this guy is. But please, when you tell me in the comments, please don't say. You say we want, but try to think. Don't say European guy, because if you look at the blade. Uh, and how the blade is shaped and the, the decoration on the blade is not European. It's a it's an Asian decoration. We don't know where in Asia, if it's Southeast Asia or Central Asia uh, or close to Russia. It's also Asia, a, part, a big part of Russia is Asia, but he's not a Russian uh, uh, Cuban. It's like very awesome if it was a Cuban, a Cuban warrior or a Kipchak or this kind of thing. But he is, uh, is a, yeah, he so, looks so much like a Prince of Persia guy. So, uh, yeah, so if this guy is not, if this is totally wrong, it's not belong to For Honor, and there's something totally wrong with this picture, then he, that is the guy going to be the prin next Prince of Persia for the 
new Prince Persia game, so I think will come out in to PS Five. But if it's not, he's a Persian guy. If I'm totally wrong there, he's a yeah, he's a, like twelve percent Arabian guy, eighty percent Persian, but he will hundred percent be one of the in the Wulin faction, and that. If you think something else, leave me in the comment, this kind of thing, and this is everything I really want to say, and hope you like it. Okay, bye.